Good morning guys, exciting day today. We're testing out this JJRC X20 Max drone. Oh. Oh, there we go. In a nutshell, it's an upgraded version of the X19 Pro. It looks similar but it is much bigger and check out that propeller blades man and those powerful brushless motors so it's another quadcopter drone from JJRC uh, one of the most striking difference compared to the X19 Pro is this awesome remote right here I like this a lot much better display and it looks just much slicker compared to the X19 remote it has a very nice phone holder on top very powerful antenna as well and the best thing about it is look at this it has a built-in lithium battery so you no longer have to keep spare batteries in your uh, case you know but this drone itself is one awesome drone I flew it once in my parents house and everything was great so for some reason I couldn't connect the this drone to the Wi-Fi on my phone in this house I, I have no idea why I tried everything I see online you know changing the region of my phone to China and to Hong Kong changing the bandwidth from 5g to 2.4 uh, gigahertz and back to 5g nothing works so I have a rousing suspicion that is because this area is pretty densely populated so yeah whenever I go up the, to the rooftop uh, it detects so many Wi-Fi signals from surrounding areas so that's probably the main reason why the Wi-Fi of this drone is not visible to this phone. But let me see if I'm right and let's just go to pick two. Uh, less densely populated area and see if my theory is right. See ya. Alright, good morning guys. We're now at the magenta cluster in pick Dua. And ooh, they're building a nice clubhouse in our complex pretty good pretty good we're now just making our way towards the small playground that they have and nobody else is awake and this is why it is good to play drone here guys because uh, still pretty sparsely populated not many Wi-Fi connection Disturbing your droning experience. And let's see if my theory is correct. If my theory is correct, then I shouldn't be having any problem whatsoever connecting my drone to the phone without changing the location or anything, you know. Because I've tried that in my house, it doesn't work. All right, so I'm recording now, turning on my airplane mode, turning on my Wi-Fi, and there you go. The drone is detected right away. No other Wi-Fi, so ever. Uh, let me prepare the remote. So yeah, I think it's pretty confirmed, guys, that it is the location issue. See, right now I'm at seven satellites bar, so gonna change the speed to two unlock to the app I think aircraft take off so currently we're still waiting for the mode to change to mode two as you can see here it's not yet on GPS mode let's switch to camera tilt the camera down a little bit uh, let's see if we can go as high as 100 something meters today and get the surrounding shot of pick two all right it's ready and lock the drone start recording We are at 25 meters. It 
go forward a little bit. It doesn't make too much noise in this neighborhood. 60 meters. It's pretty hazy today, so probably can't get really good footage. But hey, we're just reviewing this room. 90. There you go. We are at 100. Signal is still okay. Let's pan the road to the right. That's Atlanta, I think. No, no, that's not Atlanta. That's uh, Springfield or something. And don't worry if the phone footage is jaggy. The SD card footage is pretty smooth. That's Osaka Apartments. And that's Tokyo Residences. Alright, nice surrounding shot. And let's get the drone lower again. Let's do some far away and surrounding shot to finish this uh, review. So all in all, this is a much powerful drone compared to the JJRC X19 Pro. Uh, the website is saying that both the drones, you know, the X19 Pro and the X20 can support sea flight. I don't think so, and I'm gonna show you why in, in the next segment. So this is the JJRC official website, right? And for the JJRC X19 Pro, it is claiming that the motor is strong enough. Oh, sorry about that. It is claiming that the motor is strong enough to withstand brushless power, um, level seven wind with more energy, blah, 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 and can even support sea flight. I'm kind of doubtful about this because first of all this is not the motor that is included in the JJRC X19 Pro uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a comparison between the motor of X19 Pro and X20 Max but if you can see over here hang on let me get to that there X20 Max now this is pretty accurate sorry for, there that is the motor for the X20 Max see X20 Max let's let's see them side by side and you'll be the judge now I have with me side by side my JJRC X19 Pro and JJRC X20 Max they look pretty similar, it's just that one is much bigger than the other. And check this out. This is the spare propeller for the JJRC X19 Pro. And this is the spare propeller for the JJRC X20 Max. Check this out. Check out the size of the motor difference. You're telling me that these two can withstand the same level 7 wind power and they both can support sea flight i highly doubt it so yeah as you can see i don't believe that the x19 pro can match up to this one over here simply because of that uh yeah let's get some nice shot over here drone is low enough let's lower the camera a little bit so you can see me There I am. All right, let's get some surround shot going, shall we? Now, what I don't like about this is once you activate the surround shot, it bring up the rocker, which I don't really like. Uh, but yeah, you can easily switch it off in, in this uh, app, and in the function button, and bring up the map again. And yep, and simply your move, uh, simply move your right joystick left or right to get a 
clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, move from your drone and you can move your right joystick up as well to get more to increase the radius of the of the of the surround shot you know of the circle so you get a more cinematic look uh, the further you go and as always you can always tilt the camera up to get a more wider shot or uh, you can bring your drone up or down in this mode as well as you can see I'm bringing my drone up slowly steady so that you don't get that jaggy movement but uh, this drone has three axis gimbal so you know any movements that you produce from moving your joystick uh, the drone can counter it to a certain extent uh, and hey the motor can withstand up to level 7 wind resist uh, level 7 wind so uh, it should be highly resistant to strong winds uh, right nice surrounding shot going right now let's cancel this mode and you can cancel it simply by clicking the GPS button fast on your phone Okay, doesn't want to do it or you can cancel it from there <laughs> come on why is it still on surround mode all right it's back in GPS mode right now let's do the spiraling shot this is one of my favorite shot over here it's pretty similar to the surround shot but it gives you more cinematic feel because the drone is automatically rising up as well so let's get the same vantage point as I did before start slightly lower because the drone is going to shoot up once this uh, once this button is activated all right let's get closer to me shall we uh, there you go okay and let's get this uh, spiraling shot going okay you just need to sit back, relax. There you go. So you can see here that the height is increasing. 27 meters, 28 meters, 29 meters. So it is basically a surround shot, but with the, with the drone moving upwards by a few meters per second. So it gives you that cinematic feel, you know. Uh, Let's move the camera up so you get a more more view of the surrounding area. And yeah, if you leave this mode for a couple of minutes, the drone's gonna rise up to you know 100 meters or something, and you're, you're gonna get this epic shot of your surrounding. And while the drone is doing that, uh, let's talk about that uh, location thing. Uh, location issue problem that I was talking about so yeah uh, clear, clearly it it's it's not because of the location of the phone is set to other region beside China or Hong Kong you know but uh, oh you know what apparently there is a maximum distance that it rise up per click uh, and it stopped recording uh, that's one thing I don't like about this drone and the X16 you know every time you finish a feature it stops recording so you kind of have to keep checking on the record button uh, let's press it one more time and see if it can go even higher yep so it's gonna continue this spiraling flight upwards for a few maybe 20 meters or so before stopping again uh, so yeah let's talk about that uh, location thing so yeah I think the main reason why it cannot connect is because I think the drone detect that it's in a densely populated area so the safety features kick in and the drone just just doesn't want to connect with the phone it connects with the remote okay though so you can still fly the drone out which is baffling to me I mean if anything they should prevent the drone from connecting to the remote right that way the drone can fly at all uh, so yeah I, I don't understand that <laughs> but but hey I guess uh, you know if it prevents you from flying in a dense popular area then I I'm all for that you know because I think 
I think everybody should fly drone responsibly, you know. They, they need to make sure that they have... I'm, I'm pretty fortunate, you know, because uh, there are a couple of uh, instances where I could have hurt myself or other people uh, in the past, but uh, I was just fortunate because I, I, I always fly it in a... All right, see, it stopped recording again. So right now I'm just gonna bring it down and do some far away shot some drift away shot before we finish this tutorial and uh, not tutorial this review so yeah uh, as I mentioned before uh, I was pretty lucky that uh, never have this drone ended up harming or, or the drone I have in the past harming other people you know for my lack of uh, experience and lack of control uh, but yeah it, it, in the past there are many situations that uh, not many like there are few situations where uh, I could have seriously hurt myself or others uh, all right let's bring the camera up a little bit and do a drift away shot there's this drift away function okay And you will see that the, it stopped recording right after it gets to 30 meters or something, which is not that good, I think. But oh well, what are you gonna do, right? See, it stopped recording right now. So you need to press the button again and do another drift away shot if you wanna get even further. You just stitch it in the video editing software. So yeah, again, I'm, I'm all for it, you know, if the drone installed that safety feature, that's good. Because I think everybody should learn how to operate the drone safely before they attempt to do so in a somewhat populated area, you know. Alright, so that's the drift away function. And right now, I'm going to show you one function that, not function, but one drone move that I really like. And it simulates that drift away feel, but... It gives you more control and uh, I don't know, I just like it better. So you simply move your right joystick back or forward in this case. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and your right joystick up, right? So you have the drone facing you and you move the right joystick down and your left joystick up like this. And you can get a nice panning out far away shot you can go as far as the drone can take you and once you get enough distance you can simply let go of the right joystick and still have your left joystick shooting up so the drone do this uh, rise up and give you a more uh, wider look of your surrounding you know and you can even combine it with uh, this move right here where you move your left joy uh, right joystick to the right and your left joystick to the left and you get that uh, surrounding shot to finish the, the shot you know and yeah that way the phone doesn't disconnect from recording also I still don't understand that uh, that feature but oh well whatever so yeah before I finish this review I'm just gonna do this uh, little trick that gives you good practice of uh, your drone control and it's that manual surround shot that I was talking about in my previous X19 Pro review so yep you move your right joystick to the right and left joystick slightly to the left and get that circling move and this has a wider radius compared to to the sort of built-in surround shot from the app it's very hard to do this while talking by the way <laughs> maybe that's why my speech is incoherent <laughs> I hope you guys understand. I'll probably do a voiceover here and there to get the story out. <laughs> and you can do it the other way around. So you move your right joystick to the left 
and your left joystick slightly to the right and you do the clockwise movement you know of the surrounding shot move uh, again this requires some practice it gives you a wider radius of a surround shot compared to the built-in surround feature on your phone so yeah I mean depending on what you need I guess you can use this uh, move uh, to get the shot that you want all right I think that's enough and let's bring this drone back stop recording oh yeah make sure you stop recording before you attempt to land or catch the drone because any vibration introduced to the drone has the potential of corrupting the files in the SD card and then you lost all the shots that you've worked for jogger I'm gonna let him pass first before I land this thing there he goes gonna try to catch it sitting down 